Welcome, my name is Corel. This is Arabelle Luke. We're doing a review of Empire episode. What's this? The fourth episode? I think it's episode five. It is five. I'm sorry. It's five. Episode five. Episode five. five. I was on vacation last week. Sue me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the reason why we're doing it, we're doing a, um, a review on this because, you know, we're artists. We're in the business. We produce. We sing. We do all that. You know, she. She sings, she beatboxes, she does it all, you know what I mean? So, you know, we're in the business, so, you know, we're doing a review to give you guys a hands-on, you know, description of it, you know, does this kind of thing, these kind of things happen in the music business, or is it a fabrication, or whatever, you know what I mean? Yes. So, uh, what what you, what you think of this, this particular episode? I loved it. I thought it was a very good episode. Yeah. I feel like there wasn't a lot of action in the episode, but there was a lot of setting up. There was a lot of character development in yeah. this episode, which I thought was, um, it was interesting, you know. There wasn't, me. like, there wasn't a lot of music. Though I did like yeah. Neo. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did like Neo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sometimes I don't like seeing, um, it's difficult for singers, like people who are actually singers, mm -hmm. to come into a television show and be the actor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I think Neo, I guess, was just being himself and mm -hmm. he was just do, he was doing not what he would do if he was actually doing his job. I'm so not mad at I was very, I felt like he was very believable as Neo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, well, but... A lot of people think that the show is over the top and it's um, it's uh, exaggerated. I, I guess it's exaggerated in the sense that you know the, the wild things that happen in the business don't happen as frequently, like every 15 minutes or something like that. But all of that stuff that you see on the show actually does happen. I've seen it all. I've witnessed it all firsthand. So, you know, mm. just be mindful of that. Yeah, I mean, like, mm. I would say right now, from my perspective, I'm still, I'm still in the developmental stage. Like, mm -hmm. I'm more of Jamal season one, mm -hmm. you know, like episode, <laughs> episode mm -hmm. one, two, and three, where yeah. I'm still, like, trying to find my voice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm not into this whole, like, politics, stealing people's masters. Um, oh, you'll see. Like... Ooh. Like people coming in trying to take your music and change it so you can't use it. Like mm -hmm. I heard about that and I was just like, wow! Like people do that and that kind of makes me yeah. that makes me grateful that I'm an acapella artist. I'm not just harder to do it now. If you want to duplicate my music, you have to be you have to do the whole acapella yeah. thing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what you think about your boy Andre? You know, being baptized and all that kind of thing and turning over new leaf. I'm happy that all of these skeletons are coming out of his closet uh -huh. and coming out into the show and that he's making that open to that he's not having any secrets yeah like, even though in season one i really did like it when he was like scheming with his yeah. wife i was like oh that's yeah. like ultimate power couple right there yeah. but um i like how he's like opening it all up putting everything out on the table and I want to see how quickly he can grow from it. Hmm. Um, I do feel, I feel really bad for Andre though and how Lucius rejects him constantly. It's, it's clear that, well, it's clear that Hakeem is the favorite, is Lucius' favorite. Mm -hmm. Between Jamal and Andre, I don't know who the favorite is, but I think at the moment, he says he's focusing on Jamal only because Jamal could be like potential success. But yeah, he like, gave him the empire, so he must he must like him a little better than Andre because Andre is the one that should have got it, in my opinion. Yeah. Ha. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that new girl, the um, the new the new Spanish girl. That's 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 uh, Hakeem's trying to make the lead singer of his group. Yeah. I think she's dope. I think she's a great singer. I think she's a great singer. Great singer, too. great artist. And I like that she has her integrity yeah, as a singer. Yeah. yeah. That's right. He, that's right. He, Hakeem shit on came all out like he did. He said every. He said he never met a female vocal, a female artist that don't get down like that. That didn't get. You know what? So what do you got to say about that female you know, artist? No, there's one that right sings? here. There's one right here. I don't <laughs> get down like that. <laughs> It's ridiculous. But have you ever, ever, ever been like right at the threshold of 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 a deal or of, of a big opportunity where the mogul or or a producer had, was like you know holding your contract, your situation in one hand, and him and you messing with him in in, in, in the other hand? Have you ever been in that kind of situation? I've never been in that kind of situation, okay. well, and I guess it wouldn't be right for me to say that I wouldn't act like that. But mm -hmm. then. 
when I imagine myself... I would myself, imagine you wouldn't. Yeah, and when I imagine myself in that situation and I think about what brings me to music and why I do music, I feel that if I were to go through with something like that, then I wouldn't know that my music could stand for itself. Yeah. I would be like, the only reason that this is happening to me is because I had a relationship with somebody else that mm -hmm. I kind of... I weaseled my way in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's actually because my music and what I do is strong enough. And I think that that's more important to me as mm -hmm. an artist than, than having the fame and success. I want it to be genuine. I want it to mm -hmm. actually be there. I want to work for it. I, mm -hmm. don't, I don't want to take a shortcut. Yeah. I want to experience all of it. There you go. Right. So, yeah. So let me ask you a question. You've been watching um, Empire. Do you think that... Um, what goes on in Empire goes on in real life, as far as the business side of it. Like in music, real life, or like real yeah. life everywhere. No music. I do. Music I business. feel like it's. I feel like it is accurate. Mm -hmm. um, again, like I'm not experiencing music from that level, but uh -huh. I can definitely see some of the players. Some of the going on with the you know the stri stripper poles and oh all that, that stuff. That mega ratchet party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, like I mean, like. Everybody, I mean, like, there's no harm in having a ratchet party every now and then. It's, I guess. I mean, like, you could have fun, I guess, but. But I'm saying, my question is: do you think office, that happens? In the office, though? Like, in the office. Do you think that happens, though? <laughs> Maybe not in the place of business. Maybe not, like, at the actual office. Maybe at somebody's apartment or maybe at some rented club or venue that things, like, <laughs> like that can happen, but in the office, I'm well, you know, not honestly, really it, sure. it depends on who's in charge. You know what I mean? It just depends yeah. on who's in charge. If if you come from the streets and you know, and you like to get down like that, or if you want a, a, your business to you know be built on that kind of reputation, you're gonna have it in the office. I've seen off in office parties like that. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe I guess yeah. You come you're from right. a Wall Street background. I don't know. Maybe you won't get down like that. Like Dre would, Andre would obviously wouldn't go a party like that. A you're right. <laughs> you're, you're right. I guess it does depend on the business and how people yeah. do the business. Because yeah. I'm also thinking about um, Straight Out of Compton. Oh, okay. okay. About the movie oh, Straight Out of Compton. They, 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 no, they had and then I'm like thinking that. about the difference between. They had yeah, I'm thinking about the Ooh. difference between Dr. Dre's studio and Suge Knight's oh, studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, Suge Knight would probably have yeah. a party so like it, that in just It just depends on who's in charge. It depends on who's in charge. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> what happened with Jamal? Um, with the um, photographer, the artist, or whatever. Oh, God. That artist, that <laughs> artist, I, I knew, like, I, I related with him, right? Like, I was like, yes, he's like an artist. Mm -hmm. He's talking about how art is fluid and he mm -hmm. knows how to just move and experience the art. And I really liked that mm -hmm. about him, but I was like, I could tell he's kind of. Well, he, 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 like, was, he was hitting on him. He was start. hitting on him, yeah, yeah. 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 But, um,. I don't understand why he had to go for the boyfriend. Like, that was just genuine sabotage. Well, I, I think he's just trying to probably trying to break them up so he can get with Jamal, but I don't know how that happened now. Like, how is that? <laughs> I think, I don't, I don't understand that, uh, that kind of thing I've seen happen all the time in the business. Oh. I see that happen all the time. All the time. It's crazy. Like people breaking up other people? I mean, yeah, or yeah, going yeah, for the boyfriend yeah, and yeah, making people... All of that. All of that. Like under all cutting of that. All of that. Yeah. All of that. That's... Oh my God. I, I haven't even experienced stuff like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's real crazy. No, that was pretty crazy. And I was surprised because, I mean, like, Jamal puts his love and his relationship on such a high pedestal yeah. and then his boyfriend would just turn around and do that. Tim with the same guy that he was all like suspicious about, like why would he do that? Yeah. Well, maybe why he would he do that? Maybe his boyfriend was just trying to get back to him for the last situation he was dealing with. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Seems like they should have communicated. We'll find out next week. <laughs> I guess we'll find out next week. <laughs> so I want you guys to definitely subscribe. You know, you can find her, Arabelle Luke, on Instagram. You know what I mean? I want you to subscribe subscribe to our channel. We'll be back next week with another review of Empire. I'll see you soon, okay?